How much money do you think I've lost um, in my lifetime, personal training? Hi there, my name is Brad Smith, owner and founder of HealthLink.com. It's my mission to connect with the most trusted health and fitness professionals throughout the world. I was able to grow my fitness and nutrition business by utilizing word of mouth referrals, face to face and online. Now it's my goal to help you build your word of mouth referral network. Join me as we help educate and grow your business. Hey guys, happy Monday. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you had a great weekend and you are ready to start your week off right. Today I want to talk about stop losing money. Um, stop losing money in your health and fitness business. This is something that I made huge mistakes on when first starting and actually going along you know, quite a while. Um, having people pay by check or by cash is something that fitness and nutrition and health pros and experts um, usually end up doing or start doing. But it's also something that gym owners and um, some fitness studios and chiropractors do very well at. So if you are, are already doing subscriptions and having automatic payments every month, I want to congratulate you and just remind you on some more points. Um, if you don't have subs subscriptions and monthly payments reoccurring, um, definitely listen up and let's go over these points. So let's talk about late payments. So this is something that happened to me uh, when I was personal training, having someone come in, not paying me on time, um, being a couple sessions overdue. So maybe they signed up for a 12 pack um, on their 14th session. They were just bringing me the check or cash. Uh, and then you start losing track of the sessions once you have a lot of customers. So I lost out on tons of money, left a lot of money on the table, letting people get away with going over their sessions, not paying me on time. And you know, over the lifetime, you lose out on so much money until you get those reoccurring subscriptions going. So another thing is no-shows. When someone doesn't show up on time, you know, you should have it in your contract. They cancel four hours early. If they don't cancel, they should still pay. Now, when I first started and I was a beginner, uh, I wouldn't even charge them. And I learned real fast that I need to start charging them if they don't cancel on time. Um, and then, okay, maybe they canceled three or four hours. I still lost out on the half hour. I didn't get paid. So that's the thing that gym owners have, you know, correct is they can come or go, but they still have to pay monthly every 30 days. Next one is vacations. A lot of times my customers in the summer, we go on family vacations or even around Christmas time when, you know, money's most important. You're still working. You're still, you know, grinding every single day. You're there no matter if these people are on vacation or for holiday. And if they don't show, you're not going to make any money. So if you have the automatic renewals and subscri subscriptions coming, you're still getting paid. You still know how much you're going to make every month, even if that person is doing their holidays and vacations. Uh, last one is there's no commitment. They might have that commitment if they sign up for the 12 to 20 pack or the one month. Uh, but what about every month after? You need to know how much you're going to make throughout the whole year. So if you can have that subscription going for a 12 month period, a 24 month period, those people know that every month they're getting charged those 30 days, they're going to be with you. They're not going to reach their goals in just a month. They're going to reach their goals after a year or two years. But if you can set something up to where every month those payments are coming up, they know they have to keep consistent coming into your facility, keep working with you every month to reach their goals, then that's going to add some commitment to that, that health and fitness goal that they have. So, you know, we found a really good company, a software company we use where it's automatic subscriptions every single month. Um, they put their credit card in. You can even send it, text message them the link. Uh, they can go through the link through your website. But either way, there's trials. There's all these different things you can add. If somebody wants to do a free week and then automatically signed up, so you give them seven days pass after seven days if they like it, it automatically comes out of their account and then every 30 days they'll be charged. You can have it automatically charged weekly monthly, yearly. Um, you just have to have those options as a small business owner or even a big business owner. If you can have those options for payments and they're automatically coming in, you can keep track of them. It's going to help you not only monthly, but also yearly too, to know where your business is, how fast it's growing and how many customers you consistently have, not just customers maybe paying once here and there coming every other month. You need that commitment from them. You're there every day. So make sure they're there every day for you also. These are just some of the points that I'm going to be touching on on our webinar coming up. Um, so make sure you subscribe to the web webinar on Monday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, 
We're going to break it down on referrals, how to get referrals, uh, what to do with those referrals, how to make offers, and then how to keep them. So I hope to see you on the webinar. Yeah.